Hi Boss Goddess, in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you Tantric Yoga Manifestation and reveal the experience that I had attending a Tantra Yoga immersion in Kauai. I'm so excited because this is stuff that I nerd out on and it is such a game changer for me to make this connection of Tantra. <laughs> and manifestation. And so I want to invite you to just keep your heart and your mind and your being open to, to all that is in this video. Before we get started, I always like to share a few resources that I know are gonna make such a huge impact in your manifestation journey so you can continue on after this video. If you are looking to manifest your soul brand, then check out the link below for my online course, Launch Your Video Brand. It is the complete guide to the mindset, the spiritual alignment, and the technical side of launching your video brand. Also, for those of you who want to become a clear channel for manifestation by aligning your nutrition, I highly recommend checking out the superfoods company that has changed my life and helped me cleanse toxins from my body so that I could really truly be the clear channel for manifestation that I am today. So let's get into it. This summer, I went to Kauai for a Tantra yoga immersion with one of my Tantric instructors, Mimi, and she is such a powerhouse and such a beautiful expression of truly what a woman and what the goddess embodies. And so I'm gonna include her link below and also the link to the retreat that I went to so that you can check it out. And hopefully we can join each other on this journey exploring creativity and desire through tantric yoga, Kalari martial arts, and also sacred yoga activation. So I ended up having this last minute alignment to go to this retreat in Kauai. Within three or four days of me deciding I was in Kauai and I experienced so much more than I could have ever imagined was possible for me in manifesting and also in claiming and tapping into my highest confidence and excitement and creativity. And so I wanna show you this video that I made. It's a little montage of my experience there and then I wanna get into what it is that I truly learned. So check it out.
my goddess. Didn't that just get you so excited? I know the footage just really stoked me so much and what I experienced there, that's just a taste of it. And so I wanna share with you here what I really tuned into, what my takeaways were and what the days looked like there. First of all, we woke up pretty early and there was a time for meditation and tuning into ourselves and, and prayer. So this wasn't a retreat and it wasn't a teacher training, it was an immersion. So it was a really great way for me to dive deeper into tantric practices, philosophy, and actually the lifestyle. And, and what I've been learning about Tantra has been the value of connecting to the chakras that are below your heart center, your root chakra, your sacral chakra, which is your sexual sexual chakra that's a tough one and then also your solar plexus now i want to share with you what it is that i actually experienced and what my biggest takeaways were first of all the days started off with waking up early which i love i'm such a morning person and we had a time for sacred meditation and prayer so we tuned in and we did our own meditation practices on our own on this really beautiful land and then we went into a group setting and we did our first class with breathwork and it's sacred yoga activation you can check it out using the link below it was a lot of breathwork something that i'm familiar with but it was definitely a stretch for me in my yoga and spiritual practice and i'd love to know what your experiences with breathwork and your relationship with breathwork for me i know it's always been very deeply healing and i have not done before this experience so much breathwork that has been transformative in my body and my life so this breathwork was really foundational to activate prana and what in tantric yoga they call shakti energy which is really powerful potential and energy and so i don't want to go too deep into tantra and tantric philosophy i just want to share with you what my experience was and if you have any other questions about tantra please let me know below and i'll do my best to answer them and i'll also include a few resources below so we started off the day with breath work and what that really did was stretch me in my body to activate this natural detoxing process that happens every day when we breathe and so a lot of it was intense intense breathing and movement i sweated a lot i broke through a lot of patterns just through the breath work alone and what i noticed through breath work when you do it for a long period of time at high intensity especially with a group you reach these levels of First of all, discomfort, because you're like, oh my God, this is this really happening right now? I can't breathe. And when you push past that, when I pushed past that, I really started to experience a lot of ecstasy, a lot of like really lightness around me. Like literally felt like it was like beaming and vibrating all over my body. And that's the power of breath. And we have this in us every day and it just blew my mind. And so we did a lot of this breath work called Bhastrika. We were like, ha, 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 ha. And um, you can probably Google it and find some information on it. And that was really a beautiful experience and one of the foundational breath works that I learned on this immersion. So after the breath work and, and yoga, we had breakfast and they had an amazing duo of cooks that partnered up. and made these beautiful plant-based meals for us. And then after lunch, we went on excursions throughout Kauai and they took us to a nude beach, which I love being naked, let's just be honest. That's the, that's the state in which we come into our bodies as souls. So I love that and it feels so freeing and to be able to really express myself with other people who vibe with and who are curious and learning about their highest selves alongside me was really beautiful to, to do that in a setting that was so lush kawaii it's so lush and just so gushing of just greenness and life and vitality it's a very tantric island super feminine and so we went to this beautiful beach called secrets and went to a bunch of different hikes and 
um, it was just really beautiful to to be in nature and to have my toes like digging into some dirt that was like one of my biggest desires for that trip after the excursion we came back to the immersion and we dropped into Kalari. Kalari is an ancient martial art that stems from Tantra and comes from India and this martial art reminded me a lot of capoeira because that's what I train, that's martial art that I train in and it was really beautiful and it was really challenging and it really opened up my eyes to how much martial arts is a sacred spiritual practice and it always comes from a spiritual practice. I love the movements, they're very fluid and creative and they were connected to um, animals so we learned different moves that were named after animals like the snake, the cat, the cow and I think those were it. I'm, I don't know if the cow, the snake for sure, the cat for sure, the horse for sure and it was it was fun. It was just a really great way to continue moving. So we we're literally moving the whole day. After Kalari, we ate dinner and we had some time to relax and then at nighttime, every night we did a puja and puja means ritual in Sanskrit and there's lots of different types of pujas but some of the pujas that we did here are tantric pujas and they're a, they're practices that are hundreds and thousands of years old and a lot of it is chanting and using the power of vibration to elevate the frequency um, of this ritual and to, to really pay tribute to this really sacral practice of creation and creation in our human experience happens through intercourse. That's how creation happens and, and really the reverence of that creative process and life bringing of creation is really what my understanding right now of Tantra is about and what I'm really curious about and activating that creativity and really looking at it from a sacred place instead of this place that I was conditioned to think of that you know sex was bad and all these things but it's a part of creation and, and human nature. What I've been really interested in is how can I look at this from an art form? How can I look at it from ritual and reverence? In these pujas, what we did was we did chanting and we also did a sacred breast massage puja where the focus and the intention is to, to feel bliss and without this element of sex, of intercourse, and to really drop into your body. That was what it was for me. And what I took away from this experience was that our bodies, my body is designed to experience joy and bliss, regardless of what sexual experience that I may or may not have, but that it's always available within me. And it was a very, very deeply healing experience for myself. And I just wanna share and share that. I've, I haven't really shared that with many people, but I'm constantly learning and staying open to how it can really help me to learn more about myself and bring more awareness so that I can continue to design and live the life that I love. And I know that desire has been really integral in this deserving of the things that I desire and that I want in my life. So I'm excited to share that with you and the experience, the biggest takeaway for me from this Tantra yoga immersion was first of all that there is this beautiful ancient practice that offers a healthy way to channel desires instead of suppressing them. A healthy way to create a container, a sacred container where you get to decide what feels good to you and what you desire is honored by other people. So it's a practice of creating boundaries and aligning what your highest truth is so that you can create the freedom and experience the freedom that you so desire in your life. Other huge takeaway was the power of intimacy and really getting to know so many different souls on this immersion. And it was a huge range of 
ages, everything from like 17 to like 65 and me being in the middle at around 30 and to be able to have these intimate conversations and experiences where you cut through a lot of the bullshit and you just see the person for, for who they are, their soul. And knowing that intimacy is something that our culture fears and that we as light workers have this opportunity to create connection and intimacy and love, which is what we are all really seeking here on this planet. So I am so excited for you and what this has, this experience me sharing with you has sparked in you. And I'd love to know what's landing here for you and maybe even what you're, what's resisting, what's coming up that you're resisting right now. I always just invite you to stay open and to comment below and let me know what was your biggest takeaway here? What are you curious about when it comes to creativity, when it comes to desire and manifestation? I honor you and your truth, and I fight for your freedom every single day by creating these videos and presenting to you how my life continues to unfold. Thank you for watching. I love you so much. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, because I have videos every single week and it's the best way to stay connected. Also on Instagram, at Life by Jazz. And if you want even more resources, head on over to my website, lifebyjazz.com, where there's a ton of free resources and ways to work with me as a coach and in my online courses. So much love to you. And until next time, namaste, ashe, that means good vibes, good energy, and peace and riches, blessings to you, my friend.